from mid to late February, fisheries biologists conducted dissolved oxygen testing on lakes across the state. Uh, dissolved oxygen is the, the fish need that to survive. During the winter time, it's like little bubbles in the water. And if conditions are bad in some winters and the dissolved oxygen level gets really low, we can end up with winter kill in our lakes. Fisheries personnel go to the deepest part of the lake, drill a hole, and use a device that reads dissolved oxygen levels in the lake. We measure at one meter increments the amount of dissolved oxygen, which would be the parts per million of dissolved oxygen in the water. And we like to see it at like a minimum of five. Uh, and this year I've checked this lake a couple times and it's been in that seven or eight parts per million range, so it's looking good. Lee says with the lack of snowfall this year, most lakes are looking pretty good statewide. In years where we get a lot of snowfall over a long duration period, uh, what it does is it blocks the sunlight from going down through the ice uh, to the plants that live under the water. And in years uh, when that happens, the plants actually die. That decaying process uses up the same dissolved oxygen that the fish need. And if a lake does winter kill, biologists step in to replenish fish populations. So we make sure and get those lakes on the stocking list so that they're receiving the fingerlings the following year, or maybe adult fish will be transported in the lake in some cases. The lack of snowfall on our state's lakes this winter was good for fish, but not so good for water levels. We had a really dry summer and fall last year, so some of our lakes went down maybe two to three feet, so we could use the, the precip to refill our lakes, but uh, March, some years, we can get a lot of heavy, wet snow and, and things could turn around in a hurry. The Game and Fish Department manages over 400 lakes and fish populations are strong. This is Mike Anderson in the North Dakota Outdoors.